Hey guys, Perugia here. In this video, I want to talk about how to get started freelancing. And by the way, I'm in Trieste at the moment, which is my native city. And I'm taking a little bit of vitamin D just before I get back to work and start having some client calls. And uh, I want to essentially communicate one thing straight off the bat. And that is that uh, freelancing takes time, especially when you're first starting out. And I personally recommend to all my students to take one of two routes. The first one is actually try to convert a full-time client or a part-time client that you're working in the office and try to ask them to uh, get started working remotely or alternatively you can get started from scratch by using platforms such as Upwork or Topto if you already have experience and one of the benefits of an approach like this is that you can start small by just doing some projects or even taking a part-time gig and this is great if you have a full-time job already however if you don't have anything going on you can go and just jump full on into freelancing. What you really need is basic knowledge of UI UX design and a portfolio, which of course is going to take time. And there's multiple ways that you can get the initial knowledge and build up a portfolio. And I discussed this in one of the previous videos. But what I want to talk about right now is the fact that you actually have to take it slow and step by step if you're looking to get into freelancing full time because there's a learning curve and especially and also one thing that you have to consider is that the more design experience that you have the easier it's going to be to find those better paying projects and jobs but one of the things which you have to take into account is even if you already have plenty of design experience when you're freelancing, you're going to have other skill sets which come into play, such as sales, marketing, lead generation, so how to find clients, how to convert them over the call, and all those things take time. So my best recommendation is to just take it step by step and don't rush into it like I see a lot of people want to do. And that's actually the, the way that I transitioned into freelancing at first. Because the way I did it is essentially I was in London working part time for this company, which was funded and had already a lot of traction. And I was working part time there, like between two and three to four days a week. And essentially, I didn't want to stay in London anymore. So what I told them is, hey, can I actually just go and go back to Italy and stay there? and uh, just work remotely for you guys because otherwise I think uh, I'm going to leave. And they said yes, and that's essentially how the freelancing uh, career started for me. So basically I took a client which I already was working on and uh, had good success with, and uh, I basically transitioned to working remotely. And then from there, I started freelancing later on. But uh, when I first started out, I didn't really had a clue how to do it. I didn't know anything about sales, marketing and all those things and even how to get clients. So that was crucial because it gave me some cash flow in order to survive and then do all my experimentations, trials and uh, even hire coaches, get courses on how to freelance, how to sort all these things out. So that's the way that I transitioned and it didn't take like 14 days, it didn't even take a month, it take several years when I really first started uh, gather some serious traction and get to uh, better paying jobs and all that. So you can definitely make <laughs> do it way faster than I did it. Um, knowing what I know now, I could like uh, just shortcut so much the process but what I'm saying is that it's going to take time regardless of the approaches which you're going to take so take that in consideration and don't rush things into place now I hope this video was useful and I want to remind you that I recently launched uh, a free mini course on how to get started in UI UX design if that's what you're interested in because uh, I've been a UI UX designer for over eight to nine years now and uh, basically I just want to share 
uh, the knowledge and uh, all the initial experiences and things that nobody told me when I first started out uh, in uh, this field. So if you're interested uh, in that, uh, feel free to check it out. There's no like webinars or like sales page afterwards or any of that, that stuff. Um, just, you know, trying to, to help the community out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or message me on my Instagram since uh, I recently uh, got active on it again. So you can reach me out also there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.